Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and Synergy this, that, and the other. I use Synergy because one plus one equals 11. And I've got a new friend online, and I see if I can pronounce the name. It's Dravon. 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 It's a lot. Hey, Dravon. Dravon James. Dr. Dravon James. How are you? I'm marvelous, Matt Brad. I'm going to say Magic Brad. <laughs> That's what I go by. Some people say, oh, hey, Magic Mike. No, 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 I can't dance. <laughs> Magic Brad. Magic Brad. We'll stick that. with it. I'm, get... I'm marvelous and I'm excited to be here today. It's a good place to be online, yeah. especially these days with all this weird stuff going on. You, know, you can't go out. You got social distancing. Now we got social media. Yeah. You're now on be... the East Coast, right? I am on the East Coast where isolation is now a popular thing. <laughs> a desirable exactly. well, thing. I'm kind of an introvert. I do some videos out of my car and I call it, I, I say it's my isolation chamber. So I'm. <laughs> so you're married and got kids and all that kind of stuff i am i am married 24 years with a college student junior in college and a junior in high school Ooh, so that was kind of busy but now they're grown up and mature right even busier <laughs> you thought you were busy now you're really busy well, those are the ones that they come back right the boomerang kids <laughs> <laughs> they come back, but it's, it's fun, you know. For for moms, it's hard to let go, but uh, mm -hmm. we're getting there. <laughs> yeah, my wife has a kid, and he was a little brat when I first met him, but then he grew up, and uh, now he's very responsible, and it's very impressive. <laughs> they change. Oh, wow. Now, how they old change. is he? I think he's twenty-two, twenty-three, something like that. Oh, so it, so it happens. We're hanging in there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well. The way it was is, I mean, we'll get into this a little bit because that's kind of how things work is uh, he had his dad and his mom, you could play them two off each other. You know how kids work. They, mom mm -hmm. said I could. Well, dad said I could. Well, we moved from Minneapolis to Asheville, North Carolina, and now he's with his dad and mom wasn't there to bail him out. So he had to realize it wasn't all that great being with dad all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so he missed mom and he grew up. He grew up like that. He went and got his own funding for school and found his own jobs and just whew, it was pretty pretty impressive. Yeah, right, because they can do it. We did it. They can do it. We have to have uh, faith in them. People are amazing. They can do some amazing things. It's pretty fascinating when you get put in a corner. Like uh, yeah. I'll talk a little bit more about me. <laughs> I'm supposed to be interviewing you, but <laughs> I'm I'm from the entertainment background, and because of this uh, this virus thing. People in the event industry, they cancel an event. That means they cancel entertainment, right? Yes. I've got a creative guy that he just, I just talked with him on the phone and he's, he does Elvis impersonation and, and things like that. And he's doing uh, virtual concerts from his, from his house. He created a studio and he does them online and just gets a PayPal button and people pay to see him. They just donate to watch him sing. Oh, is that <laughs> Innovative, innovative people Make rise. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what you do. You got a little doctor thing in front of there. Are you a brain surgeon? Well, I am a doctor of pharmacy. I have my degree in uh, my doctorate degree in pharmacy. So I run a uh, hospital, um, medium-sized hospital pharmacy, and that's what that's my day gig. My passion gig is a uh, twofold. An inspirational speaker, and I'm an actress. So oh. I've done HBO, a number of uh, independent films. Right now, I'm in a uh, in a theater piece called uh, Serenity House. So, th and then I do my other passion is obviously inspirational speaking and writing. And probably my first love is inspirational speaking and writing because I feel that I have something that will help people, some people, to just get to their next level of greatness, and I like that. I really like that. I, acting does that, too. Acting helps people relax and sort of get into that space of creativity. So right. those two go hand in hand for me. Yeah, the, uh, like the inspirational speaking on that, in my opinion, it's a kind of a thing where a person's listening to what you have to say, and then they can have that aha moment, and everything that, say you got an audience of 100 people, they, everybody's going to hear it differently. You can say one thing, and everybody's going to hear it differently. You know? 
And that's what I like about inspirational speaking. There's a finite difference in my mind between inspirational and motivational. So, you know, I don't do a lot of rah, rah, right? What I try to do is get in there. And my goal is to have you personalize it and, and find that, like you said, that aha moment for yourself where you're in there. You say, you know what? Yes, this is where that resonates with me. This is where the energy meets. And this is, to use your word, synergy. This is where I'm going to have some synergistic response here. So that's really what I'm all about with everyday peace is trying to touch that part of you because we all have greatness in us. It's just sometimes under a lot of um, garbage. <laughs> Onion skin. Yes. Go garbage. Because yeah. the inspirational is like in spirit. You pull that, in that inner spirit out of them and all of a sudden, like I said, they get that aha. Oh my God, I can do that. Thank you for inspiring me. <laughs> well, and, and really just reminding you because this is stuff that intuitively you know, it's just, I got to rattle your cage. Or somebody has to rattle your cage or something rattles your cage. You remember, yes. Yeah, I people do. get into that can't thing. I can't do that. What do you mean you can't do that? I used to, I used to tell my kids when they were younger, can't stand for, stood for, I'm certainly not trying. <laughs> <laughs> I think can't is a four letter word and that's not nice. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so I saw some stuff on your website about peace and freedom. Tell us, tell me a little about that, because those are some interesting words. Yeah, so me. peace, I like, to, I like to give people my definition of how I use the word peace, and of course, they can use whatever definition they want, but when I say everyday peace, I mean wholeness, completeness, nothing missing, nothing broken, totality. Now, that's a little bit different than saying we're going to go away and we're going to sit in this zen-like state for the rest of our life. Would be nice, would be nice, probably not going to happen. We're going to have a roller coaster ride, which mm -hmm. makes it terrible. So when I say peace and that, Way, I know that we're going to have everything that life throws at us and we're going to be able to take from that and consciously create the life of our dreams. That's where the freedom comes in because we are free to do with anything, do whatever we want with shows up. So, you know, I don't know, just some horrible things show up, you know, job loss shows up, marriage problems show up, health problems show up, and then wonderful things show up as well. You know, birth of a new child and you could, you know, get a new job and find these new relationships. All those things make up your total picture. You sure. give power. You give each one of those events the power that they will have in your life. We have the freedom to do that. It's amazing how often we give up our freedom, but we don't have to. Well, the, the peace thing, I, I, I resonate with that in that, um, like if you, the wholeness part, you got your inner self and it's, if it's battling with that outside self that's not happy, you're talking about that inspirational thing, your spirit wants this, but the outside of yourself says you can't, you're at war and there's no peace there. So you got to get that alignment and then you can feel free and that there's right. a freedom part. And a lot of times, Brad, people don't really realize what their spirit wants because they've been denying it so long. Right. So the voice gets smaller and so it's still there. It's still talking. It's still speaking. In fact, it's probably screaming, but you've tuned it out. You've become so proficient at tuning it out. So it's a, it's a, it's a practice of, retuning into ourselves and getting into that space where we can hear ourselves again. Did you do that through the, the, the inspirational speaking or do you do some coaching and stuff too? Do you get into that? Yeah, I, I now do coaching. Um, upon I got a lot of requests for that because I started off just doing the inspirational speaking, but I've now moved into the coaching as well. I think that's good because there's probably, you got all those people out there hearing what you have to say and they go, I really like what she's saying and now what do I do with it? Yeah. So I was buying and I was getting more and more inboxing and requests for that. And I would love to work with you. I'm like, well, <laughs> so now I, I started doing that. And it's very rewarding um, for me as well. I, I get, I mean, you know, there is this saying, which I subscribe to. We teach that which we most need to know. So every time I coach someone, it reaffirms me. It lifts me up. It, it just rebirths me all over again. Sure, I guess there's a validation in something that you believe and you tell somebody and then when you say it, you validate it even more. And you, and you hold your own feet to the fire, so to speak, because you're like, okay, let me check in on me and make sure that's where I'm, you know, where I am. And that's right. <laughs> you should do this, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do as I say, not as I do. No, I actually live by these principles and I know that it is what's made the difference in my life. I'm also on your website. I did a little research. I checked it out. You have a book, and I hope you have one nearby. Do you I have do. It? I hope you can see that. Freedom, freedom. is your birthright. My birthright. Yeah, freedom is your birthright. I love, I got to tell you, it's a tiny book because my inspiration in life when I decide to become the woman that I am 
um, was first with, um, oh my gosh, it's out of my head, The Power of Positive Thinking mm -hmm. by Nick Vincent Peale, also a tiny book. And so what I wanted to do in this book, less than 100 pages, and I did it a little bit less than 100 pages, is to get people to a place where they were conscious of how they're living their day-to-day -day life and how much magic is available to them in their day-to-day -day life that we just leave on the table. We have all these choices and we go for the choice sometimes that is most painful because it looks like it's the path of least resistance, but it really isn't. It's the path of most pain. So really realizing and getting into that space of, I am free to make a different decision here. I am free to stay aware of how I'm feeling and to validate myself. So it's a tiny book packed with a lot of um, day-to-day -day exercises that you can do. You can read it from cover to cover really easily. So I, it's a wonderful book. If I, don't I think say it's good that way. It's, I'd rather have a book I could read three times than a book that's so big I can't read it once. <laughs> right? And, and there's some wonderful books out there like that, but really, let's be honest, we are all busy. And we're not, yeah. not slowing down, even though I we're like the quick ones. I like uh, yeah. Seven Laws to Spiritual Success. I read that three times in one night. Right, because you can just really get in there. And, and you, every time you go back, you get something that you missed before. I just finished reading, um, oh, Miguel Don Ruiz's The Four Agreements. Four Agreements. Yeah, The Four Agreements. And I read that a few times, right? Because I was like, oh, I started, I read it over the holidays. I read it again. I'm like, I love this book. Tiny did you ever, book. Did you ever read The Celestine Prophecy? No, I haven't read that one. It's, it's called The uh, Celestine Prophecy. Celestine Prophecy. It's uh, multiple insights. When I first got it, I thought I got it because I was getting into my spiritual path. And I thought, this would be cool. This is a spiritual book. And then I started reading it and I realized it was a fiction book. And then I read it deeper and I realized this fiction is real. It was pretty uh, awakening for me. It's pretty cool. Prophecy. I, I thought I, I have something about a prophecy. Let's see if that's on my bookshelf already. If not, I will. It's one of those books. You put it up in the bookshelf, never read it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of books like that, unfortunately. I love to read, and I just, I gave a lot of books away because I had so many of them, but um, I got a lot of stuff on that bookshelf that I need to read and haven't read yet. <laughs> My wife loves books, and whenever she gets too many, she purges them all, and she starts crying when she's getting rid of her books. <laughs> I like books. that, too. I'm like, oh, but not this one, but you let it go because then it'll be a blessing <laughs> to somebody else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So here's a sort of a final question, and then we can seal this up and beam it up to the universe and let people find it. But I, I got two questions. One, I want to know why. Why did you choose to be a speaker and an actor, actress? Why that? Why not a ski instructor? Or a Oh my gosh. So I'm going to answer it in reverse. Why I chose to be an actress. This is amazing. I know. And uh, for me, it's amazing. When I was in the third grade, uh, it was a rainy day. I'll never forget it. And our class stayed in for recess and the teacher, this, I want to say how old I am, but the teacher played a record, an album, and it was a play. And it, I was captivated by it. And then she told us that we were going to perform that play. And it was called Ladies First. And I auditioned in the third grade for the lead and in the fourth grade for the lead. Two times, two years, I got a part of the tree, which didn't have any speaking, no movement, <laughs> just standing. But it was on that rainy day that I knew, I just fell in love with, with that whole experience and it just opened something up in me. So I've always wanted to be an actress. That was my first uh, thing. I wanted to go to college for that, but I was advised to go to college for what I was you know, good at. My mom said math and science, and so I did that. But I then, while I was in, before I went to college, I read that book, The Power of Positive Thinking. I hadn't heard of the term inspirational speaking, but I knew that whatever Norman Vincent Peale did for me in that book, that that's how I want to help people. I wanted people to move beyond just the surface of what their life looked like to the inner depths of who they really were and that true power source. And I didn't know any other way to do it than just come out and start talking to people about it. So that's how I kind of got there. I fell in love with, I always wanted to help people. That's how healthcare, you want to help people. And But I knew when I read that book that, yeah, that's what I want to help them. I want to help sure. them what's kind of refreshing from all these i do a lot of these interviews i used to do a lot of them on like lifestyle design and stuff and whenever i ask the why question it's always about helping other people almost always about that's i want to help other people that's what the, the why ends yeah, because up. we're always here we're here to be in relationship right that's yeah. what this whole journey is about these relationships yeah 
Well, I used to be independent. I used to tell myself I was independent. And then I went through a program and I had this aha moment realizing that it's impossible to be independent because you need somebody to be independent of. I love it. John Can't Dunn. Be independent. No man is an island. <laughs> he stands unto himself, right? So we, our <laughs> lives interconnect some kind of way. So exactly. Yeah, be <laughs> well, to final it off, why don't you, do you have something that you have to offer anybody? Like how do we get your book? Is it on Amazon? Yeah, so you, you have it on your website? Book, or something? It's your birth, right? on Amazon, but I will tell you that I'm doing a free giveaway right now. If you email me and ask for my seven day challenge called the 2020 Clarity Challenge, and you can email me at info at doctor, and that's just D-R, Dravon, and that's D-R, A, E is in victory, O-N, James.com. Info at drdravonjames.com. If you email and say, hey, I want the free seven day course, um, I will send you that. I have, I'm teaching at a university called Institute for Leadership and Lifelong Learning. Well, I have the full course on there called the 2020 Clarity Course. I have that going on and I have another course out called The Brilliant Life. If you, e that one's, um, if you email me what, that, I'll send you a link for that too, called The Brilliant Life. And if they just kind of Googled your name, Dr. Drayvon James, they'd probably find your website and then they can probably navigate from your website to find how to get a hold of you. Absolutely. If you Google my name, I'm probably the only one on there with that name. You'll find me, at my social media, my website, everything. I like to grab that domain name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking the time to do this and be on Synergy Cafe with me today. Um, and maybe we'll do another one down the road if you've got a new project or if you've got a speaking engagement or if you're coming to Minneapolis, we can do a shout out for you. Well, I'm gonna oh, that'd be great. Wrap it's this up and get it off into the universe. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you and have a great day. Peace. Peace. <laughs>